Welcome back everyone to American Truck Simulator. So our goal in today's video is to not hit anything. How about that for a goal? And hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, we're going to try out some different things in today's video, but let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the world map. So we've been dealing with Las Vegas and then we made a delivery down to uh, Kingman. But as we scroll around this map, you can see uh, there's quite a bit more there. There's some DLC that I have not purchased that would uh, enable us to move out into some different areas. But there's already, just with the map that we currently have, there is a lot to uncover. So that within these particular areas, as we zoom in, you can see there are various different places to fuel up. There are rest stops around and, and so on. So we can really start to... Uh, to take a look at where we want to be in the future as we expand. But for right now, we are just getting started. So we're just going to try to go around and find some different areas to travel to and maybe unlock some things. Again, we do not have a truck of our own right now. We could certainly go into the bank, borrow the money, and make that happen. But for right now, I am perfectly happy simply going to the job market and driving a uh, other people's equipment, at least until we get better at what we're doing. <laughs> so we're going to go back under quick job. And once again, still looking at price per distance. And it looks like we've got a few different options. Of course, the very first one may be the best per mile, but it's certainly not very lucrative overall. I do, however, like this route. That seems like that could be really good. Uh, a very similar to this route, Ooh, that will take us deeper into Arizona. So really, it's all about which direction do we want to go. Uh, for right now, let's actually go and take some machine parts over uh, into and stay in Nevada. Okay, so we'll make sure we have that one highlighted. And we stand to make a little over six grand here. That is very nice and something I am certainly uh, happy to do. But again, our goal is to not hit anything. <laughs> But uh, which seems like a bit of an odd goal to have to have, but it is a goal we need to have. All right, so let's go ahead and change this camera around a little bit. So we start from the interior camera. Then we've got uh, a camera which is following, ooh, which has some interesting zoom to it. Then we can go to a roof cam, which would be here. Let's start off, let's try a little bit on this particular camera disengage the parking brake and we're off. Oh wow, instantly I can hear the engine quite a bit more. And I mean quite a bit more here to the point that uh, this might actually drown out my voice. All right, let's see what it looks like on this camera. Oh yikes, that is... Yeah, I don't like this camera on the roof because I can't do anything with it. All right, we're just going to go ahead and pull out here. Try not to get ran over, but... All right, I have gotten violations for actually turning right on red, which is not a bad thing where I'm from, but apparently out here it is, or at least it is for the big rigs. So we're going to wait for this to turn green. And from inside here, uh, we've got better visibility, uh, clearly, than what we had on our last truck. So maybe we'll be able to stick with the interior camera. I would prefer, much prefer, to use the interior camera, as that is what I'm uh, a big fan of. If I'm driving the car, I like to be inside the car. Same thing goes for the big rigs. All right, so it looks like we've got a little ways to go down the road. Now, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner on our GPS, you see there's a question mark there in gray. That is a building we need to unlock. It is most likely an employment agency, but it ne doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, but so far, I can go. I can already tell you this is a much preferred model truck. I wish I'd have paid a little bit more attention to what model uh, truck we're actually in. Let's see, we have new email. Okay, that's great. 
but we're going to be courteous drivers and not look at our email and our cell phone while we're driving. Both eyes and hands on the road. All right, so we're just going by the uh, the question mark. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't pull in there and go by it, so we're not going to actually unlock that. As we make a little bit more money, that will become more important. But for right now, it's not a huge deal. I was kind of hoping it would unlock it, that we were going to be close enough to make that happen, but it turned out not to be the case. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better here. We're not going to try to get into that rightmost lane. Oh yeah, so much better to drive this one, so much easier to drive this particular truck. All right, we are going well over the speed limit. Hopefully we don't get caught doing that. All right, I cannot see to my left. There we go, let's change that a little bit. Oh, we need to actually go right here. Yikes, I almost missed this. All right, let's get out on the interstate and see if we can open this thing up a little bit and make a little bit of time. And of course, most importantly for us right now, given our skill level, is that it gives us an opportunity to hopefully have fewer things to worry about hitting. Just as I say that, of course, a car is gonna come whizzing by All right, do we need to keep going straight? Um, it appears so, yes. I really need that GPS voice to talk to me and tell me, hey, by the way, you need to be turning right now. You're not paying enough attention. I, I need something like that. Because right now I'm trying really hard to make sure that we stay in our lane and get used to the size of not only the truck itself, but the load that we're carrying. Okay, speed limit at 65 right now. We are about five miles an hour less than that. So we're good. So this is taking us in the opposite direction that we were going earlier. Staying in Nevada this time. And it looks like we are about to get off the interstate pretty quickly. We're going to hop off here at exit 64. And we're going to be turning left. Now, this is not going to be fun. And the reason it's not going to be fun is because we have no red light. And I can't see. So, all right, there is a car and I think we're good. Well, I thought we were good after that. Okay, we're going. We're bigger than most anything else we're gonna encounter on the road, so maybe they'll give us a break. All right, so now we're gonna get an opportunity to get off the freeway, it looks like, and spend a little time on some of the highways, which are always fun because you get to see a lot of the nature uh, and a lot more of the background to the game. So there's another opportunity. There's another business there on the right that we could be visiting at some point. Really looking forward to that upcoming DLC where we can get into the farming and, and moving some of that produce around and that kind of thing. Very much looking forward to that. And if the series does well, then uh, we might very well get into that when the time arrives. So speed limit is 70. And we're going to try to stick as close to that as we can. All 
right, so far so good. Nicely paved road. It looks like we're going to be on this road for a little while. You can see at the bottom right hand corner we got 172 miles remaining. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised that the speed limit is this high for us on this road because <laughs> this is a bit treacherous to go this speed with uh, the trailer and the load that we have attached. But so far so good. Trying to keep an eye on that speed limit. Now, when we get to sections like this where it's mostly straight, this is where we can really open it up and hopefully we won't meet any cops that will, uh, or any speed cameras that will get us caught uh, speeding. It's a pretty tight corner there, not too bad. But I'm happy to have all the extra room on the sides in a corner like that and certainly happy to see very low traffic so right now we're going to cruise down the hill here we're still gaining a little bit of speed up to 74 all right so 141 miles remaining And this is a nice, leisurely drive. That's what this game is all about for me. Uh, I know there are a lot of people that get deep into the realism of the trucks and the trailers and and all of that sort of thing, but I'm just not that into the realism. I'm in it for a relaxing uh, gameplay experience. Just, that's what does it for me. That's what's the most fun for me is just simply kicking back on a delivery route like this where we can just make some time and not really have to worry about a whole lot. Very enjoyable for me doing that. Although I can certainly understand the appeal of the realism as well. All right, coming up on some other rigs here in front of us. So that's probably gonna keep us to the speed limit quite a bit more. But the good news is we're able to go at basically uh, interstate type speeds on this particular road. So we're in good shape. Not a lot of vegetation to be seen on the sides of the road, that's for sure. A sharp contrast to where I live where it would be vegetation everywhere. All right, so we're gonna need to turn here And again, try not to hit anything. And I think we did it. We They gave us plenty of room on the sides. Probably because they knew we were coming. Oh, we've got a cop has someone pulled over. And thankfully that was not us. So once again, our speed limit is 70 through here. Wow, very wide open and for the most part, fairly flat as well. Again, a nice sharp contrast to where I'm from in the south in Tennessee, uh, where we have a lot of hills and mountains around. So that adds a little extra enjoyment for me because it's a chance to see something different, some different scenery. All right, there we go. So 86 miles left, so we're certainly getting very close since it's not a one for one uh, to real life on those numbers. I would actually like it very much if it was. That would help me out quite a bit, particularly on the time remaining in the delivery. The mileage I understand, I mean, you have to scale the map to a, to a point, otherwise it would take hours and hours to do all of these deliveries, sometimes days. 
So I understand that part, but it would be nice if the, the amount of time would actually be in real time. Who knows, maybe there is a way to get that setting. Now look at that, just wide open spaces. Lots of rocky bluffs out here, but not a whole lot of vegetation. Certainly not a lot of grass out here. All right, let's back off the gas a little bit, try to slow ourselves back down to roughly the speed limit. Try to diminish our chances of getting a speeding ticket. All right, so cruising right along at mid-60s. And now we're just looking for our delivery location in the bottom right hand corner on our GPS. That's going to be the big thing uh, that we're looking for next and making sure that I don't go by it. Because these things don't exactly stop on a dime. So I need to give myself as much time as possible. We are running out of fuel. Well, that that may be the case, but hopefully we can make it to our location. Oh, look, in our first view of water. Wow, okay. Haven't seen any water around in this area. All right, so surely the game has given us enough fuel to make it to our location. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. Still getting quite a bit of vibration, even after turning the force feedback uh, down some, still getting a lot of vibration uh, around the center line of the wheel. Not so much when I'm actually turning the wheel, but when I get back to the center line, it certainly wants to do uh, quite a bit of vibrating. So more experimentation needed for that. All right, looks like we got a turn coming up just ahead. So we're going to coast our way in here. And it looks like we'll be headed off to the left. And we are very close to our destination. And still watching that fuel. It, it certainly, if it has given us enough fuel, it has given us just enough to get to where we need to be. Certainly not a lot of extra fuel, that's for sure. They didn't want us to do a lot of sightseeing on our way to make this delivery. All right, let's see if we can get a glimpse. And doesn't look like anybody's around. Hopefully that'll still be the case as we pull out. We've got a bus coming up behind us, but hopefully he won't run us over. That certainly would be no fun. All right, so our destination should be coming up here very shortly on the left. And sure enough, I believe it is right up here ahead of us. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our blinker. At least I think it's on. It should be on. Once again, trying not to hit anything, and I think we made it in. So far, so good. We've made it on fuel. All right, here we go. Okay, let's choose our delivery, and once again, we're going to do the play it safe for now. And, oh wow, unloading area is right over here to the left. So we're going to try to get in here as best we can. With as few scratches as possible. And it looks like we got it. Excellent. So we're done. 224 miles just under 
$6,000 and we get a proficiency bonus. Very nice. A little over, what do we get here? 376 XP. So again, at the bottom of the screen, you can see that took us a good distance toward level two. Once we get to level two, we'll get another skill point that we can apply. A little over six grand. So a very successful delivery overall. Uh, we definitely hit a lot fewer things than last time. So let's go ahead and quickly go into our email. Let's see, drivers with own equipment needed. Yes, most definitely. So they want us to buy our own truck. They're very, very interested in that. And of course, that leads us to the banker who is more than happy to lend us that money. And then the Kenworth dealership has some uh, trucks for sale over in uh, Phoenix. All right, but again, we're not quite ready to get that just yet. I'm thoroughly enjoying doing these uh, off the job market and doing these uh, quick jobs. So let's look and see what is available right now. Again, the good thing about the quick jobs is I don't have to drive to the location in order to, you know, pick up the trailer and, and be on my way. We are taken very quickly over to the area. All right, so, so far we've, we've unlocked a total of three cities. Let's see what else we've got. This, oh wow, this route would take us over to Fresno in California and be quite a nice uh, haul for us. Very nice, I like that one. That looks really nice. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Vegas to Bakersfield, very nice. And let's see what else we've got. Oh, we can go from Kingman to Tucson. Another one to Bakersfield. And all of these are okay. Obviously, this Vegas to Fresno is the best one we have. So I think that's the one we're going to do. That'll make our video a little bit longer today, but... I think it'll be worth it in the long run. We'll be able to get two contracts fulfilled today, or at least hopefully we will. All right, disengage the lock, and we are on our way. So I don't really have a favorite uh, style of truck per se. I enjoy them all, as long as I have visibility, that is. All right, once again, we're going to hope that we don't hit anything on our way out. But it's going to be close. All right, which way are we going? We are going to the right. Go ahead and turn on our, our blinker, or turn signal. And we're just going to sort of wait this out for a second. Let's move our view just a little bit so that I can see our... Yeah, so I can see our mirror over to the left. There we go. All right, let's make sure we get out here. Yes, we made it. There's another question mark ahead on the right. And again, at some point those will be vital for us to unlock all of those. But for right now, we're just enjoying the scenery and the act of driving these trucks. So we're not going to worry too much about it. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to unlock some of them. Uh, but if we don't, then it's not the end of the world. All right, so once again, it is right over here on the right-hand side, but it actually might be a dealership. I wasn't paying quite enough attention to see. But we're going to head our way out of town and very quickly find ourselves on probably the interstate. 
we've got quite a distance to travel, so I would imagine we're going to hit the interstate here pretty quickly. All right, speed limit is 30. Look at that skate park here on the right. You can see those skateboarders. Well, one just disappeared. Keep our speed under control. Which is very hard to keep this thing down to 30. All right, looks like we're gonna be turning to the left up here. I'm going to go ahead and get over into that lane. Looks like we're he headed by Donut Shop here on the right. Casino coming up on the left. Headed into a T junction or no, actually, well, this is the interstate. Thought we were headed to a T junction, but that was not the case. All right, here we go. Once again, just trying to get used to how wide I need to take these corners. It's so much fun driving from inside the cockpit. Uh, let's see. Hopefully these guys are going to let us in. Yes. But so much fun driving from inside the cockpit. Uh, but it does definitely limit your visibility, particularly if you don't have any sort of head tracking uh, device attached to the game so that you can actually look around like you would in real life to, to increase your visibility. There's a cop that just passed us on the left. So thankfully, we hadn't had a chance to get up to speed yet, or he might have got us for speeding. All right, so we're going to try to press up against this speed limit uh, as close as we can. Make as good a time as we can. Watch out. All right, nice sunset right there. Very nice. Okay, looks like we've got a detour. And nobody wants to let us over. So at some point, we're just going to have to force our way over and not go backwards like we're doing now. All right, there we go. Let's try to get over now. I mean, at some point as a tractor trailer rig, you can get over whenever you want. It's just a matter of how much damage are you willing to incur or inflict. Wow, this is a very, very narrow section for us to be trying to go through, particularly with our history and driving skill. But we survived, and we're back on our way. So the speed limit for us is now 80, to 80 uh, miles an hour, so that's nice. Assuming we can ever get a stretch uh, that will allow us to get up enough speed for that to be an issue. All right, we'll go ahead and turn on our lights as we are approaching nighttime. All right, now hopefully we can get some open road and a nice opportunity to just sit back and enjoy the sounds of the road.
All right, so we're down to a two lane here. And we are now suddenly speeding, going well over the speed limit. So we're going to try to slow that down a little bit. I'm going to actually set the cruise control here at about 66, 67. That'll put us a little bit below the speed limit and hopefully these guys in front of us will... Nope, they are not. I was hoping they would keep around the speed limit so we wouldn't have to to worry about anything, but apparently that cop got them spooked. These guys are slowing down a good bit more than what I would prefer. All right, so coming into a 30 mile zone. Yes, yeah, so we've got to slow down a little bit more. Driving through the city limits here. Looks like we're going to be turning to the left just up ahead. Then maybe we can get back up to speed and you see the UPS driver here on the right hand side of the road. There we go. Looks like this is our turn. Got to get down through all of these gears. Still not used to having to downshift near as much as I need to in this thing. All right, make sure we come to a dead stop. Love seeing that Death Valley on the sign. Looks like that's actually where we are headed. Alright, so we'll get out to a speed limit of 70. So hopefully we'll have an opportunity to get up enough speed and, and make some more good time. Give us an opportunity to get some wide open spaces so we can set this cruise control. Watch out, that's a little bit tighter of a corner than I want it, but once again, we find ourselves above the speed limit. So I'm going to try to back off of it a little bit. And hopefully that speed limit jumps up here again, because I hate to slow down and speed up in this truck, because that just kills our fuel mileage. But so far, 55 seems to be the speed limit. And we are coming up on another truck and a left-hand turn. All that downshift and make our way back down. trying to make sure I had all of the lights on. I couldn't tell exactly if the trailer lights were on. At least not uh, all of them. But it does appear as though we've got all of them on to the best of my knowledge. Alright, so once again, another turn up here. We'll go ahead and turn our signal on. 
and do a lot of downshifting. See if we can make this corner without hitting anything, and I think we're okay. Not a whole lot of visibility back there behind me. Lots and lots of gears to go through. It's definitely a very different experience from what I'm used to in uh, the race cars. So a lot of adjustments that I need to make. fuel station here on the left. Thankfully we don't have to worry about that right now. Alright, so we're back out and going, but still at 55 miles an hour, which tells me that it's probably not going to be enough straight stretches through here. A lot of tight winding corners. So they're trying to keep us slowed down. That looks like we've got one coming up just ahead. Again, trying to make this turn as wide as I can. But with this being a two lane, there's not a whole lot of room for me to work with. corners in here. Yeah, it's definitely easy to see why the speed limit is lower. But so far so good. We're cruising right along. And thankfully, the best thing for me is there is very little traffic that we've seen. Just a couple of cars. And as long as that stays the same, then I can use a little bit more of the other side of the road. This road is a lot of fun to drive, but uh, yeah, if we had a lot of traffic on this, this would certainly change the amount of fun. Because in the interest of time, I'm trying to keep the foot to the floor as much as I can. And of course, driving at night adds that just that extra little bit of difficulty to it. Uh, we could turn on the high beams, but right now I can't remember what that is mapped to. So we will not be doing that. Also, I'm very thankful for the trailer stability. That's an option in the gameplay, uh, and I'm not really interested in, in turning over any tractor trailer rigs and doing any jackknifing, so we are going to use high trailer stability. All right, we are above the speed limit, but I got really excited because we had an open area of road. So again, as long as we don't come up on any speed cameras or cops, then we'll be fine. Alright, so now it's time to 
make another turn. This time we're headed off to the left. There we go, once again going through the gears. See the speed limit 65 there on the side, but our GPS is letting us know that the truck speed limit is 55. All right, so 129 miles remaining. And it looks like we've got a little bit straighter stretch of road here. You can see I'm once again pressing my luck with regards to the speed limits. All right, coming up on another turn. Looks like a lumber yard there on the left. All right, let's get it geared back down. Looks like we're okay. I don't think we hit anything. Maybe a few shrubs on the way by, but nothing that should cause any damage. these nice straight stretches of road that's going to get us there with some good time we just need enough of these for long enough to to allow us to actually get somewhere at a high rate of speed all right I'm actually above the speed limit let's try to back it down a little bit and we're going to use the cruise control a little bit here try to keep my right foot under control You can see as we're going downhill, you can hear the engine cut out. Oh, now we got an uphill section, so we're going to have to climb a little bit. Coming up on another stop. So we're below 100 miles. And let's go ahead and turn on our blinker. I'm not exactly sure where this turn is. But I would just soon not go by it. So I'm looking over here to the left. And there it is. Oh, look out. A little bit of traffic where we did not need any. See if we can make it by him safely. And I believe we did. Really could have used some more of the road there, but it was not available. So 77 miles remaining, which means it will not be long now. So now I'm going to have to pay close attention to 
finding our destination so that we don't miss it. And also making sure that I don't get too excited with my right foot. All right, so back to the cruise control. We'll try to keep ourselves around 55 to 56, somewhere in that range. So our first night delivery, it didn't take long to get into that. All right, 49 miles to go, which means we should be pretty close with the way it counts down mileage in the game. And so far, so good for this trip. We've had multiple opportunities to get ourselves in trouble and do quite a bit of damage to ourselves as well as others. But so far, we've managed to come out unscathed. So for that, I will consider it a victory if we can bring it home unscathed. Still not convinced we can, because we still got some more twisty areas on this road to go through. And we still haven't gotten this thing parked uh, just yet, so still going to be plenty of opportunities to mess this thing up. All right, so we're gonna have to slow it down now. Coming up on a, a tractor trailer rig that is uh, being more responsible than I am. Taking these corners at a, a decent rate of speed rather than my kamikaze approach. So who knows, he might be going to the same place we are. So speed limit at 55, he is going 10 miles an hour under that. So he is being much more cautious. And we are now 15 miles out from our destination, meaning that I'm expecting to see our destination show up on the GPS just any second now. Plenty of stops for fuel along the way, that's for sure. If you're needing fuel, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem to find it no matter where you are. All right, there we go. I see our destination is going to be on the left up ahead. So now we are entering Fresno. All right, let's see. How are we going to have to do this? Looks like it's going to make a bit of a U-turn. And we're going to have to turn left and then very quickly back to the left again. There we go. There's our entrance, I believe, right up ahead. I 
All right, so we'll pull in, and once again, we're going to hope that the easy parking method is fairly close to where we are right now. There we go. Let's play it safe. And sure enough. So, so far, we haven't had any big issues with where they wanted us to park. Other than they've got us really tied up against some... Uh, some objects here such as poles so hopefully we can get over to where we need to be did I miss it I'm actually not sure so we're gonna go ahead and skip this just to save a little bit of time we'll go ahead and skip out on uh, a few XP, but we have more than enough to get us up to level two. In fact, because of the distance of that one, we almost made it all the way to level three. But the good news is a total of $11,689 for that trip and 700 XP. Absolutely love that. That ought to bring us to our skills. Absolutely. Here we go. And let's go ahead and do one more into the long distance. Uh, at some point in the future, we'll get around to unlocking the hazardous cargo. But now you can see that uh, we are unlocking longer and longer distances as we continue to rank up there. Uh, and then before too long, we'll actually move over to some of the other cargo types. So let's go ahead and apply that. And that's going to do it for today. For now, thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue American Truck Simulator.